it, what's also important is that Netanyahu is very unlikely to survive this. Um, his poll numbers, of course, have just um, absolutely evaporated. And if the elections were held today, um, he would get about 17 seats for his party. So there's a domestic dynamic as well. Um, he presided over the worst massacre of Jews since the Holocaust. So the question is not only what comes next for policy, but what comes next in terms of a governing coalition. And that is very much up in the air. Will it be something headed by uh, Benny Gantz, who's in the opposition right now, former general? Um, will the forces that were out in the street, hundreds of thousands in the pro-democratic movement, uh, transform themselves into some kind of political party? So it is not only a question of what would happen uh, even if Bibi remains in power, but who's going to remain in power and what that policy is going to look like. So I think there are many more questions at this point than, than we have answers.